Welcome everybody. We're so glad you're here. Uh, my name is Tiffany. I'm the Tipsy Artist and we are painting the dragonfly today. It is beautiful for spring, summer, really all year round to have in your house, but it is very timely this time of year. So let's go ahead and get started. We have an awesome kit that has all the supplies for you so you don't have to do any of the guesswork on what to have. And so everything is provided here. Let's go over supplies really quickly. We have our water that we'll be using, our brushes, our napkins. We've got our mixing plate with paint already loaded up here, ready to go. And then I've got my visual nearby. And then of course my canvas, my tracing paper, graphite paper, and then the traceable that comes with the kit. And then we've got pencil and a Sharpie as well. So, uh, I'm going to talk about the actual trace part today, too. So, sometimes people get a little confused on how to set this up. I do have a tutorial just for this, uh, but let's go over this one more time here. So, we've got our canvas, this plain. We want to make sure and place the shiny side facing down. And then I just basically even it up right in the center of the canvas and then right up here at the top. I'll just use some tape and I'll just tape right around the edges here to secure it. Scotch tape actually works the best. We do have a little bit of uh, washi tape that we provide with you in the kit, um, but if you do have scotch tape, it is actually the best solution. So we've got this in place. Then we're gonna go ahead and center this down here right in the center of the canvas. So just kind of eyeball it. That looks really great right there. So I'm gonna use my tape again and just go ahead and secure this right at the top. And I'm careful to just use my the soft part of my fingertip to go ahead and apply pressure to secure that down. You use your nail to get in there, it's gonna leave a mark because wherever you hit with a point, it transfers that to the canvas here. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave this open so that as I lift up and check my work, I can make sure that I've got all my tracing done. So we're going to use a pencil to go ahead and do our trace here. And so I'm gonna just go ahead and start and I'm just going to do a line right over the top. Wherever you see a line here on the traceable is where you'll do a line. So that's pretty easy. And normally I work ahead and do this not recorded but what you can do is if you have already done this step and you're just wanting to get to the painting part you can absolutely just fast forward this it's super easy to do that now i'm being really over the top detail. There's a lot of this that you may not even necessarily want or need to draw in. And I'm gonna go over some of that detail here, but since of course a lot of this will just be painted over. And so you may be doing a lot of work that you're just gonna paint over and not see. However, we have a little trick that I love to do. And that is once we get done with all of this transfer work, I'm actually going to firm up all the lines with my permanent marker. And then that way it bleeds through the paint just a little bit. So it allows you to do a wash of paint over the top, but yet not lose all of your hard work with all of your tracing. Bring up the music just a smidge. Now, as you're checking your work, one of the things that you'll note is that the graphite has a little bit of a sheen to it. So it's it does make it fairly easy to be able to read where you have been, where you have not been. But again, you can also just lift and check this way too. 
And so before you do your final release and completely remove the transfer paper on top, you absolutely want to make sure that you get all of your line work done. Because once you lift this off, there's really no going back to line it back up perfectly. It's just, I'm not saying it's impossible, but almost impossible. It would be a stroke of incredible luck for you to be able to line that back up perfectly. And we're so happy you're here today with us. We hope y'all are having a beautiful day. We're working here in my studio in Guthrie, Oklahoma. In my sunroom studio. All right, that looks really great. So we're gonna go ahead and, as I said before, make sure you double check here that all the transfer paper has worked properly and you're in good shape. We've got a nice line for everything we've worked on. I feel like I've double checked my line work here. Line work here looks good. So I'm gonna go ahead and lift this off and remove this. So we'll just take this and move it off to the side. By the way, these sheets can be reused with a different design. So you can either throw them in the trash or you can sometimes reuse this for multiple uses. So that's kind of fun. All right, so now I have this done with just the graphite, which looks like a pencil line. And I'm gonna go ahead and work on this with the Sharpie next, because I want that hard line that will bleed through my paint. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a nice firm line here. And some of the images I will not, like this rose here, that's honestly just kind of more for reference and it's better free-handed anyway, I am not going to do a firm line around that because it may not be able to be covered up and we want the softness of that soft pink around the edge. So I'm gonna forgo the hard line on that, but it works beautifully everywhere else.
Again, that was way through. This little leaf pattern, this actually still works really well with paint over the hard line. So we're all good here. It's going to bleed through that paint and it's going to work beautifully for us. Now this, we didn't completely finish off the page. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of drag off just a little line to continue that shape just off the edge. Same thing with that little stem. Let's go ahead and just finish it off the edge of the canvas. Same thing with those there. This line is also, it works beautifully with a soft bleed underneath the paint. So we're just gonna go ahead and finish that out. And again, the rose is the only thing I don't really like that hard line on, and it's beautifully done with a painting technique, so we're just going to leave that alone. All right, so we're good. We can place those off to the side. Now we're going to start working with just the painting part. So we have your uh, paint kit that comes with it, um, depending, sometimes there's paint pot kits, sometimes we have actual two paints here. So we'll have instructions for both, depending on what you have. Uh, but basically, our brushes here are going to be, I've got my mama brush, my little buddy brush, and then my little bit brush. And then we want to make sure and have our napkins here, our water, and then I've got some paint out here to the side. All right, so the very first thing we're going to do is get a nice wash of paint here over the top. So I'm going to be using my mama brush, and when the brushes are brand new, I like to go ahead and put them in the water just a little bit, squeegee out that excess water. Then we're going to go ahead and dry off so it's just moist and nice and flexible. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab our paint that we'll be using initially will be some of this primary cyan blue. And I have some here on my plate already. And then some titanium white. And then I want to go ahead and do some primary yellow. So we're going to make a really pretty, a little bit of a turquoise color, but we're going to lighten it up quite a bit with the titanium white. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up a dollop of that primary cyan blue. We're going to do a dollop of that primary yellow, and then we're also going to do a dollop of the titanium white. We're going to mix all of that together. And again, this starts to make a really beautiful turquoise color. And then 
might even use just a tad more white with it. So I'm just going to br brush right into the white with that mix right there to lighten it up even to more of like a seafoam green. Let's add a little bit of water, help loosen that up a little bit. And then I'm going to go ahead and start to paint into this background here. And as I work, I'm going to alternate with some of that white and just push that back and forth. Kind of looks like I'm making like the letter X over and over and over again. Kind of crisscross it back and forth. And then I'm going to show you something. So if I have a little bit of water added to it, I can just kind of breeze right through this line work and see how that just bleeds right through. Let's go ahead and pull that a little bit closer. So that's what's so awesome about that technique. I'm going to pull my chair up here a little bit and standing. So I'll do a little lazy sit here off to the side. So again, we can have this nice, beautiful wash of color. I'm going to grab a little bit more water, but again, just place it on the plate so we can kind of mix into the paint with our water. So with the cut and work, we could theoretically just paint right over the dragonfly too and we'd still see it, but for the sake of having a clear vision of where we're going, I'm going to go ahead and try to do a little bit of cut and work around that shape. So as I do that, I can turn the brush more like you would just hold a pencil. That gives me more of the line edge to work around it, and so I can have a little bit more precision and control as I work around that shape here. And then as I come back into the background, then I wanna go ahead and just crisscross back and forth. Again, I wanna alternate between the white and the turquoise, add a little bit more water. And I barely got over that tail of the dragonfly, but that's okay. We still see the shape of it. So again, grabbing some of this turquoise and with more of our white, you can add a little bit of water to it. So a little bit of water on my, on my girl over there. <laughs> 
All right, and again, just crisscross back and forth, nice light texture. We're gonna leave this rose exposed here with just that white canvas underneath. That way that tray stays in shape for you. And I'm just kind of coming back in and finishing up with just not light little texture, crisscross back and forth. So we've got a nice base here. I've got some wires. Imagine that. You just would not believe all the wires surrounding me right now. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and rinse out. it off a little bit and dry off. And then I'm going to go ahead and start to wash in a few other colors into our background here. So let's start with a little bit of pink. So we can go with um, mixing up pink either with some cadmium red and some of our titanium white or also a little bit of our primary magenta also works beautifully with a little bit of white. But again, red and white also makes a really pretty pink, just right to begin with. But I am going to show you some with the primary magenta and a little bit of white here. We're going to mix those two together. A little bit more white there. And a little bit of water. And I'm just going to do a light little pull, just kind of up, light little drag from the bottom here. It just puts in a nice little wash of pink here, and then a few more of those here. And a few more light drags up from the top here as well. So we now hold the brush more parallel to the canvas and just start at the edge and then just lightly drag down, pull down, and then lift off with a light hand. All right, so really pretty. Now I'm gonna go ahead and rinse out again because my brush actually picked up quite a bit of that turquoise in there as well. And then I'm going to go ahead and mix up a light green also. So we've got some cadmium green, and then we're just going to use some of our titanium white. We're going to pick up some of that white and that green, but we're going to make it really light. Really light green there. Let's add a little bit of water to it to help it be very fluid and smooth. And we're just going to pull up from the base here again, that same kind of stroke right up from the base of the canvas, just lift and pull right up through the top here. This adds a little different color variation happening here in the background. You can also do some here from the edges. Bit there. And then we're also going to do um, a little bit of some warmer tones now in the center. So you can use a little bit of our cadmium yellow, also a bit of our primary yellow. And so I'm going to do a little squirt of this cadmium yellow off to the side here. And 
very bright and golden. And we're just going to kind of crisscross on a little section of this here in the background. So light little touches, again, hold the brush parallel to the canvas. My hand accidentally got in there, but I'm gonna go ahead and just go over it again with a little bit of this cadmium yellow. And we're gonna do a slight little drags with that on the outer edge as well. And we're gonna do a little bit over here too. I can vary it up a little bit with vertical strokes and then horizontal strokes, light drags and pulls just back and forth. Again, this is, it's going to vary a little bit every time I do this painting, it looks slightly different. Again, it's an abstract process and we're just pushing in beautiful bright colors here in the background. Let me go ahead and rinse out. All right. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do our pretty little rose up here at the top. So let's start with just some titanium white and some of this red. We're going to mix those two together. And I can also pull into that other pink that I had mixed up earlier. Grab a little bit more white. And we're gonna go ahead and just push this down. The stroke will feel very much like little half circles. I'm gonna avoid that little dragonfly there. So half circle, half circle, half circle, half circle. The outside looks a bit lumpy. And you can do another one down here if you'd like. So half circle, half circle. That's not on the template, but you know, again, some of this can be a bit spontaneous. And so if you wanna add a little bit of that on there, you can. So again, half circle, half circle. I'm going to swirl that down a little bit. And I'm going to do one more here. So half circle, half circle. I'll work that in. All right, squeegee off that color. We can maybe reuse that. I'm going to go ahead and rinse out. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and touch into the pure white, making sure I don't get into those other colors that I have going, but some pure white here. And same stroke, just little half circles, half circles. And we're gonna to start to push that around too. Light hand. Okay, we'll back up here, more white. So titanium white. And again, lots of little half circles in a circular pattern all the way around this shape. Now, another thing you can do is with a smaller brush, and go ahead and rinse out here. Dry off. We can come in with our little bit brush, and with the darkest shade, we can come back in with a little bit more of that red, that darker pink. 
this is my little bit brush and I do it like a little tiny comma right in the center there. and that's that little shadow same thing here I need a bit more contrast I'm gonna go darker red on this little dark comma there same thing here a little dark comma so again that's what it feels like when you do the stroke little tiny comma And you can also bring in some shadows if you want. That's my little doggy coming through there. I'll tap, tap, tap. So a little bit brush in that darker pink. We can do little, again, those bigger half circles. I'll sweep those through. Those can add in a few little shadows too. And more white to kind of blend back and forth between the two. Sometimes it's a playful back and forth between the two. All right, let's go ahead and rinse out, dry off. Now we're going to go ahead and start to work on our dragonfly and it's going to be a more intense teal color so with this I'm going to go ahead and be I'm going to be using the uh, primary cyan blue and the cadmium green mostly those two colors together with just a hint of the titanium white so I'm going to use my mama brush to start with Dollop of that blue, dollop of that green. We're going to mix those two together. This is going to give us a beautiful teal color. And let's just add a teeny touch of the white. It's going to be a bit out of proportion with the rest. And there we have it. So about equal parts, green, blue, and then just put in a tiny touch of white. Look at a little bit of water to this too to make sure that it's a nice wash and it's translucent and you can still see all that line work underneath and we can so that's wonderful and I'm just going to bring this a little bit closer well you can actually see it from there but definitely see how our line work is all bleeding through so that's awesome So again, this is that beautiful teal color. Again, that's equal parts of our green and our blue. And then we just added a tiny touch of white just to lighten it up just slightly. When we get into this tinier part, the head and the body, I'm gonna switch over to a smaller brush. The wings, I'm gonna go ahead and continue to use my mama brush with. Beautiful color in there. All right, I'm gonna squeegee off the excess in case we can use a little bit more of that paint. I'm just going to rinse out now. And let's use our little bit brush. And I accidentally got over the top here of the head with that rose. So I'm going to come back out in front with that. Just hold the brush just like you'd hold a pencil. That way you can work around those small little curves.
Also, if the brush gets a little bit fat with paint, you can do a little twirl into the paint. That'll help twist it out to a nice fine point. It's looking good. I'll go ahead and rinse it out. And what's really awesome about this is that black line work that we did bleeds through so beautifully that it's not even necessary to paint. It just looks like this beautiful, subtle black line that appears through the paint, which is really a nice touch. It actually simulates more of what we have going on here, which is really lovely. All right, now we can go ahead and start to work on our little leaves here. So I'm going to come back in with my little bit brush and more of this white. I'm going to add some more water. I want this to be a really light, light seafoam green, almost, almost white, but then that hint of seafoam green. Alright, so we've got the shape here will feel like you are making a parentheses and then another parentheses and then we'll just fill that in. I kind of cut in on my little wings and finish that back out with my little buddy. Our stem, and again, it feels like parentheses, parentheses. And we can do the same thing all the way across here. long curvy stem and again it feels like parentheses parentheses again this is mostly that white with just a tiny hint of that sea foam And then down here, I'm going to add a little bit more of this pale yellow to it, just for fun, just something a little different. And a little bit of that white, add a little bit more pale with that pale yellow. Now, on this side over here, we're going to come in with a lot more of the red. So, I'm going to go ahead and I don't really have to rinse out my brush because both yellow and white are pretty complementary with that. So, I'm just going to go ahead and come into that. Do a little twirl. And we're going to outline little leaves here. I'm also going to show you what this looks like with Little Buddy, and sometimes Little Buddy is really fun to use for this process as well. So I'm going to do a Little Buddy here, and let's do a little bit of this red. Just 
to do the same shape here where it looks like little parentheses. Holding that brush like a pencil, you've got that little line work that can come out across. And we can add a little touch of brown in here too. And to mix the brown, you'll need to mix. Mixing brown is mixing cadmium orange, whoops, that's white, and black. So cadmium orange and black makes brown evenly. So two equal parts, cadmium orange and black makes brown. A tiny little touch of that. I'm gonna sweep in like little lines around that. Go and rinse out. And then I'm going to come in with a touch of that little cadmium yellow. A little bit brush. And put that parentheses, parentheses right in the center. And I warm up the center of each one of those leaves. Add a little bit of contrast, a little bit of texture. Put a few of these if you want. You can kind of be playful and put a few more here. Again, parentheses, parentheses. There's no trace for that, but it's just a little bit of fun off to the side. All right, now I'm going to take a little bit and I've got my red here or a really dark, dark pink, which is red and white. But I'm going to take a little bit, really load up that brush with lots of paint on the end, and then I'm going to do that right over the top. And then I'm going to show you a little flower pattern you can do here too. So again, still using a little bit, but a nice drop of paint on the end of the brush. And you can just kind of lay it down on the side. One, two, three, four. So again, you lay the brush flat on the side of the canvas. You have to remember to take it to an angle in each direction. And that makes a fun little flower for you. So let's do that again. Okay, so lay it on the side, let the brush do the work. And as it touches down, it just makes that fun little petal. And I went to a different angle. I'm going to go down with the same angle and a diagonal with this angle. Okay, kind of cute. All right, we'll just go ahead and rinse out. And now we're going to use a little technique where I'd use the end of the brush and to make the center of the flower there. Um, let's go ahead and do just a little bit of white. And we'll just dot that down. All right. 
And we'll just wipe this off. And then we also have a little bit of abstraction with just like some white scribbles here. So I'm going to do my little bit brush. And I'm just going to kind of scribble a little bit. So it's like little tiny up and down, up and down, up and down. You can go in different directions. A little bit of a diagonal. And this is all part of that just real playful abstraction. Now there's also different patterns you can do, like little plus signs. And put those down in one little section there. You can do a few more of those up here. And they don't have to be perfect, just kind of loose little plus signs. All right, see that's really fun. And then let's rinse out a little bit. We want to make tiny little dots of paint. And this time you can use I can do a little bit of yellow, or I can add a little bit of yellow um, to that pink. Almost make this fairly peachy kind of a color. Really light, light peach. And I can just dot, 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 dot. I dot that on several different rows of that. And a few more of those up there. Add a little bit more white, do a little scribble up there. Yeah, so very fun, very playful. Those little elements towards the end that just become little abstractions with the paint are very fun. Always ends up being a little bit different every time I do it. But yeah, so I think we are done with the painting part of the process. It looks beautiful. So now you just want to sign your masterpiece. And a couple of different options here. You can wait for it to completely dry. That's very important. Uh, then you can use your permanent marker to go ahead and just sign at the bottom right hand corner. If you don't wait and you put this on the wet paint, it will destroy your permanent marker and you'll have to throw it in the trash. And you'll, it will render it useless. So uh, please listen to that and know that this can only be used on dry paint. So that's an important tip. Mine is not dry. It's still tacky and wet. So I'm going to go ahead and use my little bit brush here. And with a contrasting color, I'm just going to come in with some blue and I'm just going to go ahead and sign here. Ah, little signature. Look at you. All right, so we're so happy that you joined us today for this beautiful painting. Again, all the supplies that you need are on our website at tipsyartist.com. And if you can't find what you need for some reason, just please email us at info at tipsyartist.com or tiffany at tipsyartist.com. Um, it'll pretty much just tell you right on the website too. But yeah, there's a contact form on the very front homepage as well. And we'll be able to help you out and send you a direct link to whatever you're looking for. So again, we just want to thank you so very much for painting with us today. Y'all have a beautiful rest of the day and we'll see you soon. Toodles!